how's your day been? It's been good. Yeah? It's been mental. I mean, I've, not, I've never been to one of these before. Um, I'm loving it. I'm, I'm actually loving it meeting everyone. Yeah. Um, seeing all the cool things happening. Yeah, it's been great. So you, you've never even kind of attended a show like this, or no? No, no, no I've always wanted to. Yeah, yeah. It's always been at the, uh, the bucket list, but yeah, I'm here now, and I'm so happy. Excellent. Um, so we're going to go back to, to when things kind of started out for you. Um, how did the kind of the, the, the my family thing come around? How, how was that kind of sold to, to you guys? Um, um, I don't know what made my mum do it because she's not this kind of person. But um, we just mum just signed us up online. And it's a small chance that you'll sort of get picked because loads of people sign up for it. Um, and yeah, we, we got asked to do it. Um, I've done it and I loved it. And it was sort of, I tried to think about um, what else could I do that involves me being in front of a camera. And it had to be acting, really. Um, and I've never looked back. I love it. So it was at that point you decided you were going to go into acting then? Yeah, yeah, pretty much, yeah. Did you have any kind of career plans before that? So tell us a little bit about, about Dodger. Tell us about that role. I love Dodger. Um, yeah, I played more than uh, like a crossing sweeper, and he's a bit of a. It's, it's not good or bad really. He works for both sides. A bit more recently, he's more with the good, the good side, um, which is weirdly the criminals. But the bad side in the show is the police, which isn't a good, you know, isn't a good message. But but. Um, <laughs> Yeah, I play Morgan, he's a bit of a snitch. Um, and I, I love doing that, I love all the people and all the crew, they're lovely. Um, especially recently, uh, Reese and Lucy, who wrote and direct it. Um, yeah, they're lovely. And that role was kind of expanded for you, wasn't it? It was originally supposed to be quite a, a small role. Yeah, yeah, I literally, I had, um, I think I had two scenes in, in Dodger originally. Um, and yeah, I was just lucky they just decided to expand it. And, um, yeah, I, I, I enjoy it so much. It's one of my top shows, I think. Um, yeah. And there's some big names on that show as well. So do you get starstruck? I do get starstruck, yeah. I mean, um, as bad as it sounds, I've never seen Not To Who before. So I, I, I remember Christy Brockle still being on there and not actually knowing much about him, which isn't good. But um, Ellie Mae Sheridan, who plays another child, she was on there and she introduced me and sort of what he was in, who, like, what doctor he played. And um, yeah, so I do get starstruck, um, especially like, I knew David Thurfall um, from a few things um, and I really like him. So I was a bit starstruck with him, but no, no he was lovely. Um, yeah, everyone was so lovely. I, um, I once DJed in a club when David was there as a joke and he came over and told me I was a very good DJ. Those weren't the words he used, but there oh. were kids here. Oh, I see. <laughs> so, yeah. I see. Yeah. <laughs> oh, great. Yeah, he's lovely. So, who, who, who would you say is the most famous person you, you've met so far? Um, to, to me, yeah. probably uh, Killian Murphy, um, who plays like Tommy Shelby and Oppenheimer recently. Um, probably him, but I, I know a lot of people there were probably known, uh, probably Daniel Radcliffe, Harry Potter. Um, yeah, he, and he was so lovely. He, yeah, um, I've, I've not met anyone who's not been lovely, to be honest. They've all been such nice people. You wouldn't tell us if you had anyway, would you? Not have? Nah. <laughs> so, <laughs> no, no, but generally, they've all been amazing. Are you, are you an autograph collector when you meet these people, or are you just, or do you kind of play it cool? Uh, I try my best to play it cool, but I might ask them. I'm not much of an autograph person, I like um, pictures. Yeah. I, I get a picture. Um, but yeah, I, I always. I do try and ask for a picture. It's proof to show my friends. I'm getting jealous. <laughs> I, bet, I bet they are really jealous of what you're doing as well. 
In what way? Sort of, but not, not quite massively. Like, I do something. I remember getting asked to do something like Takeaway and to get. And I was so excited because I, I love the show. And I remember going on, on the video game online with my friends. And she was saying, yeah, you know, I'm going to have to go out and get Saturday Night Takeaway. They're like, oh, cool. Anyway, what do you want to play? And it's sort of like, no, no, okay. But it is, I think that's nice because it gives you that normality sort of thing. Um, like, I'm back at school Monday. Um, after doing this, and it just, yeah, I like it. I like, I like, I like that they don't ask me in a weird way. But I also like when people do because it shows their interest. So it's nice. And that's it, isn't it? So it's getting the balance right between kind of, yeah, it's really cool what I do and not, I suppose, not showing off in it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Um, the role of, of Tiny Tim, you yeah. played on stage and on screen. How are the two different in the way they're kind of filmed and, and acted out? Um, well, Tim on, on stage, I, I did enjoy it because you get that, you get the like, immediate reaction from people. Um, and you can, you can sort of tell when you've done a good job. <laughs> but, you know, with TV you never know. You, you just get selected on social media. <laughs> but, um, no, I, I did, I enjoyed both. I think mean, I enjoyed the TV one because, because of seeing all the behind the scenes. Um, and I was, I was in it quite a bit more. So I got, I got more to do with it. Whereas the stage one, I was, I don't know, I might have had like 10 minutes stage time. But I enjoyed both of them. Would you like to do more stage work? Yeah, possibly. I don't think I'd do things like musicals because I'm not much of a dancey person. I'm getting old, I'll pull me back or something. <laughs> um, but no, I, yeah, I, I think I like to do, I, li I like straight acting sort of thing rather than singing and dancing. <laughs> getting old while you have 15. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> Knocking on. Yeah. Um, Tell us what it was like working with Daisy May Cooper and you know, the, the things you got up to on set there. Oh yeah, she's a legend. She's amazing. I think, yeah, she's, she's nuts. She's absolutely mental. <laughs> but um, no, I, yeah, I love her. She's, she's so fun. And she makes me feel very at home, very, very easy going, very welcome. Um, but as, as with everyone on the set, to be honest, it's just been, yeah, I just, I love them all. <laughs> And, and how much of the show is scripted? Is it all scripted or is there a little bit where you can kind of go off? And, uh, yeah. Yeah, it is all scripted, but, but um, it's sort of, the script was there as an outline, I guess. And we can sort of go off if we want to. We sort of have the start, which you follow, then the end of the scene. But in the middle, we sort of just go on a tangent. And I loved it. Like, I remember one scene, Ollie, my, my character, he has a birthday. And, um, my, my nan calls, and it's, I, I remember I had like a wrapping paper while over my presents and just sort of rustling over the mic and pretending that the line had broke up. So like that sort of thing, you just have a bit of fun with it. And the thing is, like, I think I find it easy because it's a realistic thing to like, it sounds nasty, like I love my nan. <laughs> but, but whenever like, you know, if it's your birthday or Christmas, there's nothing really want to be chatting to you, you just sort of want to be, <laughs> and, and you were allowed to swear on TV as well, I mean, that's it. Sorry? You're allowed to swear on TV. Oh, yeah, I'm allowed to yeah. swear, yeah. I swear once. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that's why I got the job. Yeah. I that's the only reason you did it, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah, in, in every other scene, I was like, just couldn't be bothered, but that one scene, I put my own into it. Yeah. And I was practicing it over and over again in front of my mum, just to, just to just make sure I got the line right. Yeah, because that's what mum's really like, isn't it? Yeah, 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 yeah I love it. Cool. Um, and that. Not that, not that line, but it uh, led to awards and kind of maybe thrust you into the public line like a little bit more. Um, so, so how how was that? How was kind of your awards experience? Yeah, I, I do. I owe a lot to my being reasonable. I think um, yeah, that's it. That is what got me the recognition. Um, and probably why I'm here today, to be honest, like a lot of it, um, Doctor Who and stuff. That's probably why I could have been a reasonable. And yeah, the awards. I still can't believe. I, don't, I just like, like sitting there and I remember going up on stage to collect it and just sort of seeing everyone and being like, like seeing these famous faces and just being like, it just, it just doesn't feel real to be honest, like, it's, it's not to, I feel like, it's like that imposter syndrome sort of thing, like I don't, don't, I don't feel like it's a video at all, but I'm happy to.
yeah, you have to pinch yourself every now and then and go, is this really my life? Yeah, exactly, exactly. And then fr from that, obviously, Children in Need, something very different because it's live TV. Mm. I mean, how how was that? I mean, was the, was the pressure on to kind of get everything right? Or, yeah. yeah, I mean, I, I am, um, yeah, I was very nervous for Children in Need, especially on the day. Um, but whilst, like, you sort of, yeah, to be honest, before doing it, you sort of like, to get it done, <laughs> to get it done, to get it done. And then you're doing it, you're not thinking anything about it, just reading the other you, um, having fun. And then it ends, and you're like, I want to do it again. <laughs> and, and, you know, that's, it really doesn't feel that long. Um, but hopefully I'll be doing it again this year, um, which I, yeah, hope so. And you've, you've kind of, you've got involved in things quite quickly into your career, so children in need, Taskmaster. Mm, yeah, I love Taskmaster. I mean, yeah, I mean, how was that? That's a dream come true. I mean, yeah, it's probably my favourite TV show in terms of, especially in terms of, like, the game show side. Um, yeah, it was, it's, and, like, meeting Greg Davis, who's much taller than me, as are a lot of people. But Greg Davis especially, he's he was, tall, isn't he? He was he's tall. A big man, yeah. yeah, he was not like I think I literally I went up to like the top of his knee. <laughs> it was mental, like and um yeah, we got a side by side picture together, which looked incredible. But um yeah, and Alex Holmes lovely. Um he's like sort of he's sort of his PA in, in the show, he's sort of like his personal assistant, isn't he? But no, he's lovely. Um as was everyone. Um, and I suppose we better talk about the role of Morris, don't we? Oh yeah. Because yeah, there's a few Doctor Who fans in there, I guess. One or two. <laughs> how, how did that role come around? Did you have to audition for it or was it written, written for you? Yeah, I was really lucky. I didn't have to audition. But it was a lot of people. There's, there's another show called Doctor Who Unleashed. And it's the behind the scenes sort of, of, of Doctor Who. So a few people might know. But I wasn't, I wasn't originally Morris. Um, what I was, I was Eric, who was his space baby, who was in the first episode of the, the new series. Um, and I, I tried to do that, like, I, it's Doctor Who, I get not mind. Um, and then, so I literally, I recorded all the voice for it, and I had a read through, I recorded my lines, um, I put all the facial dots on, you know, like, so they can track your face. And, um, got a moment from filming, two days later, my mum comes into my room. Really, you know, that cut your role from Doctor Who. And I'm literally like, what? I'm literally devastated. And she waited about 20 seconds to tell me that I've got another role, which was awful of her. Like, I've never, my heart I've never dropped so much. Um, but yeah, I like Morris. And I think I'm happy I got to play Morris. Because, yeah, it's just, it's just a, I, I, think, I think it's because mostly because of the segue with the guns. It's incredible. <laughs> um, yeah, he's, yeah, he's amazing. You've not had your segue you know, adapted yet then to your gun sphere? No, I want to, but apparently it's illegal. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what's a few legalities? Yeah, exactly. Um, so you said you weren't, kind of, you hadn't watched Doctor Who and, and stuff, but to be a member of UNIT, yeah. I mean, you must know now that that's, that's huge. Yeah, I mean, I did start watching Doctor Who, I've got it, and I love it, and yeah, UNIT are actually quite a big part in it. Um, and it's, I, I do really enjoy, I, I did really enjoy being part of it and I think I love these world well humans, like the set is incredible. It's exactly how you see it on screen. It's like clearly like no effects or green screen, it's mental. Um, and yeah, I love being, I love being part of UNIT. Because um, it's sort of like, you've got the Boxer's Companion, but it's like there's sort of like a group of companions, which I love. Um, yeah. Did you get to go in the TARDIS and hang out and stuff like that? Yeah. I did, so because the TARDIS is much bigger this time, and there's like, it's like a, a ramp to get onto the main floor, I couldn't go all the way up because it was not deemed as safe for children, or because of my height or something. <laughs> and um, yeah, because like, there was like a railing, but I could fit through it easily, and I didn't want to go falling. But I, went, I did went in like the bottom part, and it was um, amazing, and the actual blue box itself. Um, yeah, I've got a picture in there. You've got it. Of course you have. And so you, you say you started kind of watching it and stuff now. Um, so far, who, who's, what's your favourite monster or what's the one that kind of scares you the most? Um, I, don't, I, I, I liked, I can't remember the episode name, but it's, um, it's set World War II and there's like 
all these children with the gas mask. What's it called? What one? Empty child. Oh, empty child, yeah, yes. And it creeped me out. It creeped me out a lot. Like, this, yeah. What, what's it, do you know it? It's, it says something like, Mummy, I'm scared. That's not like that. <laughs> Human characters, I think, are scarier, and yeah. human adapted human characters. Yeah, I see what you mean. Yeah, um, I'm trying to think of ones that I've seen, but I know in the newer series they had. I've not seen it yet. It's bad, but in like it's like the Bruce Timm sort of episode. Um, it's like they've got like owl faces and stuff. They look like they're like half owl. See, have you seen that? Like, it's weird. It's, yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, it's amazing what they can do with makeup. It is, yeah. Uh, it's and, and I wanted to ask you, was that real pizza you were eating in the, the season finale? Because oh. you were the only one who got pizza. Yeah, it was real pizza. And I actually, like, it was, it was quite an emotional scene at the end. And, you know, Ruby's mum was crying, so I was so happy with your home. And, you know, it's all emotional and lovely. And then, I, it's come to my line, and I'm chewing this pizza. And I just can't say it. And then I remember um, Millie, who plays Ruby, saying she clearly just thought I started laughing at her crying. <laughs> so did you have to do so many takes for so many pieces of pizza? Yeah. Yeah. I love pizza, you know, yeah. but that was too much pizza. I was eating way too much. <laughs> um, if you can tell us, what are you working on at the moment? Um, yeah, I did a few years ago. I did a series. Um, called Am I Being Unreasonable? Mm. And they're doing a series two. Um, and I've just I've just done most of that, and it's yeah, it's gonna be really good. I'm also hopefully um, I might be doing a little bit for the Paralympics this summer, um, which we do. Is there an actor or director that you really want to work with? Um, oh, actor-wise, really recently, um, I've been I've been seeing clips of because because it's the new series come out of The Boys and I think Anthony Starr who plays Homelander he's so like so evil but in like but like you actually hate him but I think that's a really good actor to be able to do that so actor wise probably him which is really random but I think he's incredible um director wise um I, I, I like it's very cliche but Martin Scorsese I think probably yeah he's quite an intense director isn't yeah, he? yeah 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 um, and my last question for you, and this is it. If you got a phone call or email at the same time, on the same day, one from Marvel, one from DC, both booming at the same time, which one are you choosing? Oh, gosh. Um, if, if the DC thing was batman I'd, ch I'd choose DC. But if it's not, if it's... If it's not Batman, because I love Batman, if it's not Batman, I'll choose Marvel. Uh, I think, yeah. Yeah. That's the right, that's the right choice. Yeah, it's Green Lantern, DC, if you don't want to touch that. Oh, no, I want oh, Green Lantern. No, no one wants Green Lantern. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's all my questions so for you. Thank um, you. I hope you enjoyed it. Please show your appreciation once more. And what Thank you. Thank you. Lenny Rush.